we could uh, down that middle area that can get a pitch same size as what would well, that do me a favour? What's I wanted him for to stop people coming? Well I was sort of joking when I said it. Do me a favour, and I'm not taking Mick with this. Stride across width the pitch. What and big stride? Just not well, as long as it's white, just normal white, say you had so so from either. And then duck when. Because that pitch down there we can probably get 72 by 100 and I think it's about 100 from roughly from from to, has he got the right size feet does he need to like add on anything if he's a size 7 if I does that and then just length and then I'll, I'll be able to know whether we're going to get it on at Mitchell's how do you think he's going to get on are you happy with strides he's making no he's too small What's he going to do though if he now go, he, he, he like thinks oh that's so many yards and then when he does other what he if he, it no but what if he forgets what if he forgets no, the, the, there's, there's every chance in that it'll probably end up being longer width wise than it is length wise really. so, well he's he's got to oh that was a bit of a funny step that was, it's probably I thought to, he, I thought he tripped to be honest probably got to fifty and he's wondering what comes after fifty yeah. well he's looking for help here seventy two. I'll take him on then. So, in terms of uh, open trials, and that's been the big talking point for the club in the last sort of couple of weeks since the season ended. How, what kind of response have you had to the open trials? Really positive. Uh, first time that we've really done open trials, certainly on on, on basis of we're doing it this time. Uh, so, through all YouTube stuff and all social media, we've obviously had a lot of interest with, with different things, different people. Uh, and even as seasons as season went on, there were people sort of contacting us and asking uh, if we were training, if we had trials, and so that's how it come about. Uh, and I've had, I think there's 26 people, or out of them 26, I know three of them. Uh, rest of them, I've no idea who the, who they are. Uh, they've asked to come. So speaking to obviously Donovan, Paul, uh, and yourself, James, we've. We, Decide we're going to get open trials uh, starting. We were going to do it on Tuesday, uh, 25th, but England have got a game in Euro, so we brought it forward to 20, Monday, 24th. Uh, so we're going to do a Monday and a Thursday session open trials, and then hopefully take a few players from that through to pre season, which will start first week in July. So it's something I'm looking forward to, uh, quite excited about it really. And there's still time to register, isn't there? If anybody fancies Yeah, it. Uh, I started uh, a WhatsApp group. What day are we on today? Saturday, probably Wednesday, Thursday. So all, all lads who've contacted me, I've just started a WhatsApp group, and there's a little bit of banter, uh, sort of introducing themselves and talking between themselves. Uh, but yeah, right up to probably. Uh, Saturday, Sunday before we have trials, if anybody's interested, if you get in touch with, with myself, I'll add you into WhatsApp group because we just had uh, Thursday, we had both of them out doing pre-season work on here, so our pitch is out of action for probably four or five weeks, so trials will be at a different venue, so if you contact me, I'll let you know where the venue is and, and starting time and everything. We've got some, got some interesting coaches coming down to put sessions on. Uh, I'm hoping Frosty's going to come down. Well, obviously, there'll be myself and Donovan. There'll be Jake and Daz from Reserves. Uh, I've spoke to Dean Sidebottom. Uh, good lad, Dean. Good character. To say he's a bit of a character, he's actually a top coach, isn't good, he? Good coach. He played at a good level. Uh, he, he did a spell where he was at Woodsboro, And I've spoke to him this morning. Uh, and he's buzzing. He's up for it. He's going to come and uh, certainly get involved in open trials. And, and hopefully, we have viewer getting involved in pre-season. And... Wherever that takes us, we'll see. Because uh, he's, he's a good character to have right club. In terms of, obviously, there's open trials into the players. What can, obviously, we won't go into who, who's departing or anything like that. We'll save that for another day. But in terms of, it was fairly obvious we needed to inject new bodies into the club in the summer. How have you got on with recruitment that in that sense? Uh, it's difficult to say. I mean, I've, I've obviously I've contacted a few people and they, they seem quite interested. I've had a couple saying no. They've had offers... Uh, from uh, North East County sides, which is great, and, and I've said to them, you know, if it don't work out, uh, give me a ring and we'll see what can happen. 
but we've got quite a bit of interest but it's it's until it's easy to say in a text message uh, yeah I'll turn up uh, it, it's proofs of pudding so when, when pre-season does start and we see what numbers we get through but numbers are good I ain't got an issue with numbers if they all turn up then it, it, it's again it's going to be quite exciting it made uh, life a bit difficult with how late the season ended so organising even player recruitment friendlies so we've got a few friendlies in the bag haven't we yeah, uh, I, I needed a, a, a week, a couple of weeks out just to just to refresh, uh, and I feel good now. I've had a week or so, ten days off, and I feel good. Uh, obviously, like I said, I've, I've been messaging people, but buzzing for it now. Uh, we've got a couple of friendlies definitely lined up. Uh, Yorkshire Main, we've got a friendly against Yorkshire Main. Uh, a team who contacted us called Greetlands. Uh, this is an Halifax. I, I used to do Emily under 18s back in season first team uh, Emily first team got to FA Cup third round against West West Ham. I were I were at Emily then uh, and played under 18 Huddersfield League and Greetlands were in our league so that's only time I've ever heard of Greetlands but you've been four meets in Halifax so we've got a friendly against them so we'll probably make that a bit of a day out and, and get lads an opportunity to have a bit of bonding and a bit of crack together. Uh, Yorkshire Main. Uh, Nostal, we've got, we've got some lined up with Nostal. Uh, I'm waiting to hear back from Bentley, we always play Bentley. Uh, Phoenix, we usually play Phoenix pre season. Then with Montague Cup, Rotherham Charity Cup, what uh, will be starting probably mid July, certainly, uh, sorry, early August. So they'll uh, come together, won't it, the friends? Yeah. Like. But obviously, I, if there's any teams any watching, if they fancy playing as. Uh, Get in touch. The issue is obviously a lot of teams are having the pitches done, and, and ours, as I said, four week out. Uh, but yeah, we, we're more than happy to hear. Obviously, I'm only talking about first team. We, we need to get games in for reserves. Uh, they'll be looking at building a, a good, strong squad to be competitive in that Division One. So yeah, if anybody wants to uh, give us a shout, I'm sure we can. It'd be nice to see some new teams go out. Probably do a little bit of videoing and, and, and get some interest from. Uh, Further afield. I'm just thinking, is it a bad omen? We're doing, sort of, this is the first interview of pre season and what's happening outside. <laughs> well, it's not very often mm. I've, I've wanted rain, but for the last four seasons, when we've had uh, pre season work done, we have, I mean, previously we've had like 100 tonne of soil, we have it verted rain and shot, shot waves, uh, seeding and, and fertilising. And He'll say it's, it's between four and six weeks weather dependent. Now, last I bet three, four year. As soon as we have this work done for four, or five week, it, it's red hot, it cracks pears. We don't get any rain, so I'm not too bothered that it's raining today because it's going to look pitch some good. So if we can have a week of what we've got now, little bit of, a bit of rain, bit of sun, perfect grass growing weather, that'll be all right. But we need we need to have some sun at some point. Right, shall we see what how he's doing? Billy, you're coming down. What we got then? 109 that way. 109. And 72 that way. 109 by 72, so we do that. So we stroke pitch out 109. Uh, I don't know how, how, how big a strides Billy's strides are, but I, I'll take I'll take your word for it. Uh, we're just looking at. So what's it length, Billy? 109. Oh, it's a big pitch, isn't it? We're not going to get accused of having a too short no. pitch. If I, even, even if I say the small strides, I would say that if we take, if we go down and say 104, still a good size. Uh, Is there an independent in verifier? We're getting someone down. Uh, I'll bring. I'll get. I'll go into the science department. To, uh, hey, why don't we get your we'll get mate, your workers. big mates with him, aren't you? Dean Sidebottom will get him as independent yeah, verifier. Yeah, all your friends now, aren't you? Go get Dean Sidebottom. Football friends. You because did you have a fallout once and then no, all of a mate. sudden. I thought you had a bit of a disagreement about, no, about I just, poor passes and that, I just, and then you just bagged winner and then you were football No, friend. I just uh, gave him a bit, he gave me some, so I gave it him back. So, so now, you gave him some football advice? Yeah. Now he's not here, what do you think to Frosty? Frosty is, is good, but it just goes down too easy, and he's just buying fouls, and people like you buy into it. He laughs in it, yeah, I'll go down and... I thought, I thought early today there were a couple of naughty ones. But I'll tell you what you never did. Teddy said to Martin Watkin, threw up Billy Hart, the first tackle he tried. He did, to be fair, it was naughty that first one. He's saying that it, it went wrong footwear and he slipped. 
but it was naughty. And what I'm what I'm pleased to see, Billy, is you didn't you didn't make a, a big fuss of it. No. You got on with it. You thought just as you send down, it's a man's game. Yep. Come on, let's get on That's with it. it. So the red card from the head butt last week when you you did frosty, it's got rescinded. But does he have to pay twelve quid for the simbin in today? I think you've got to learn your lesson, and if only way to learn your lesson is by eating your pocket, I think that's what we've got to do. Yeah, mate, no problem. I think what we might do is, uh, I think you, what, you, good... what you need to do next week now, you either you either bring twelve quid in or you bring. How many we had today? How many side today? Seven, eight. I think it were eight a side. Eight a side, been. sixteen. So you bring you bring twenty, uh, Mr. Kipling's either. Fruit fancies, gooey right. gooey bites, gooey bites. Oh, my favourites, Viennese well. How oh, are thing, things going anyway with Kipling's? Good mate. I, I think they're selling well. They're selling really well. I mean, especially Aldi butter, Viennese wells there. I mean, they're crackers. What's new? You've said there's a new one, isn't there? New Viennese? Not yet, not yet. Is oh, it all top, top secret? Top secret. It's coming. All right, I'm not mentioning. Oh, it sounds like Doctor Who that it's coming. It's it's a, new, is it going to be some like coming. some villain or something? No, it's just like every year, like for Halloween and that, oh. they do like a chocolate one with to toffee. In. Oh, I tell you what, I'd like uh, because I mean we've we've spoke about your sort of your favourite crisp, your say you know your favourite takeaway, and we've, we've mentioned really one of my favourite desserts. Is lemon drizzle cake. Don't they do a Viennese lemon? I think they do. Do Mention it to, if you, next time I, you'll see. I mean, yeah. not, do, you, do, you, do you talk to the science department at Kipling? You know, in like the. No, I don't talk to uh, technical. Well, technical I speak to. You talk to some women at set in office, though, don't you? No, no. Yeah, we, we've, heard, <laughs> we've heard, Billy, that you do talk to some women in office. Uh, just, One of husbands has complained that you talk to someone. Oh, but office. then he's asked me, he's messaged me and asked me to come and help him at presentation. That so, so he knows where you are. So. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> don't, walk, don't walk out on your own, it's dark. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Ray, what, how's the shop going? Are they going to get open this shop outside where them trees are? I don't know, mate. We, we, they have already got a shop in. Yeah, but in, we'd, we'd like one for the general public. We, well, I could. You could be manager of I it. Can, can, ask him if, if there's any chance of branching out and we'll put a tent up here and we'll can, sell, we'll sell people and stuff on match like, day. On a Saturday, if somebody wants to come on a Saturday and sit in there and mm. sell Kipling cakes yeah. and that, I a can cup ask. of tea and a Kipling cake for two pounds. That's not bad, that. It's yeah. good shot. Be all right, that. We need sponsor. We need sponsor on the shirt before uh, others the get in with Das Field. Oh, and, uh, no. Are, are you are you first in line yeah, for sponsorship? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I bet uh, I bet Clarkson's having a field day at the minute. I bet they've had a delivery. I bet they've had a truck. I bet they've had a truck turn up. Oh, right. Also, oh, they haven't had a delivery of Kipling's yet. Oh, mate, no. So that's that's next week. You either bring twelve pound fifty, fine, oh. or enough to feed twenty. We're uh, Viennese world. Uh, yeah. Gooey bites. Yeah. Or uh, what's the other one? Which ones is them little angel slices? Angel slices. That I had so I had about. Oh, oh, James. I had a pack of them this week. Fondant fancies. No, I've, I've been through angel slices this week. Angel slices. Um, I find they're a bit overfilling them. You know, angel slices. I'll tell you what, slices. it's nice and all. The little pots, chocolate pots. See, I'm not a chocolate. I only like no, the bar of chocolate. No. But you I know them angel the slices. You know, if you eat a fondant fancy. Yeah. It feels like enough, and, it don't, and sometimes it feels so like not is, enough. Is that what you're then, saying? You want for your one? But I'm just meaning with, but with angel week. with angel slices. You have the pack where there's two, and then you come away thinking, "Chuffy neck, I feel a bit fat now." It feels like there's too much. Whereas fondant fancies, it feels like you should have two at once. <laughs> there, there's a box the thing, and then. thing with me with Viennese worlds talking about that is if I have a cup of tea, I think one is enough, but one box because. Because you just want a box full. For some reason, I never like them. Oh, you, oh, you're doing making order now. No. <laughs> Note to myself: twenty <laughs> Viennese worlds for next Saturday. And uh, knowing Arlo, we'll have twenty-five. We'll have thirty players too. <laughs> well, I'll fetch extras. Oh, oh, there's a promise. Oh. But Man, I, th I think wrap. it is a good point that what Teddy's just said. I think we should start if anybody gets Simbin. Or anything, I think they should start putting a pound or something. Well, it's yeah. unprecedented. You're the only person ever to no, be seen being twice. That's why I'm saying twice. it. Twice. But that's you, why I'm saying it because you think people might not want to start putting pounds in. So, 
Well, so we're looking at having a, a naughty box, like a swear jar yeah, or, yeah. A, or a... a you, well, that's what we'll do. You'll bring fine system, you'll sort it out fine system. Yeah. Bring it next week. Yeah. You've started it and that's what that's your baby. Right, right? no problem. So and then and we this, can this put that rain into is horrendous. Just just pan out to look at that rain. Well, it's helping us pitch. It's helping us pitch. Cricket lads over there aren't very happy. They're certainly not gonna get started. No. Uh, and I don't know about a salad for a tea, they probably need a uh, a chicken boner or something. I think this is uh, up there with some worst bit of rains we've had this uh, <laughs> <laughs> year. Well, this morning we we I've been up and, up and a lad from Penniston Church Reserves were up and I was talking to him uh, and said, You told, you uh, told him the game were off? Well, he says, are you, are, you, uh, are you up walking football? I says, we're obviously pitching available. He says, why is it waterlogged again? And funny, it won't, but uh, a couple of days like this and we might be back to square one, which ain't good.